How's it going everybody and welcome back to some more Call of Duty Black Ops 3 gameplay. Now throughout the video my goal is to provide you with tips to improve your accuracy that you can easily implement into your Call of Duty game. Now ultimately this will allow you to get more kills, get a higher kill death ratio, higher scoring gameplays, but in general just assist you in achieving whatever intentions you play for. Now for starters you want to find a sensitivity that enables you to turn quickly yet still lock on your enemies. Personally I'm in the 5 to 7 sensitivity range however it is completely dependent on the person so be sure to find that little range that you can play around with and just succeed with. And uh, secondly, you want to stick with assault rifles which will enable you to get long range kills. My suggested assault rifle being the HVA-30, however to each his own. If you guys find a better assault rifle, be sure to use that. Whatever you're comfortable with is basically what you want to be using. I believe the ICR is what it's called, is an amazing assault rifle, very similar to the ACR from Modern Warfare 3 and Modern Warfare 2. Now moving on, I definitely recommend using the grip attachment on every weapon in this game. Even if you're using a submachine gun and you're trying to improve your accuracy, Grip is just crucial, it'll assist you in your gunfights by reducing your weapon's recoil, and if you're a sniper, Ballistic CPU will benefit you in the same way, it basically has the same intention that Grip does by reducing the sway in your scope. Now, also, another tip being, this is very underestimated tip, use the reticle sight on your assault rifles. Uh, basically, the red dot is what I'd recommend just due to its simplicity, it's very easy to use and it can easily assist you in getting those long range kills, especially people in head glitch spots, uh, you'll easily be able to pick them off from what I've noticed without a reticle sight using the iron sights of the gun, uh, I've actually struggled in my gun fights. Now moving on, last but not least, from my experience this may sound very stupid to you guys but I've been victim to so many brutal gunfights in the process of wall running which is why personally I'd advise you to avoid it unless it's necessary, unless you're running away from a gunfight or you think you can flank the enemy, uh, I would avoid wall running. Uh, basically, if you see an enemy on the wall, your weapon constantly sways from side to side and for myself that's been a huge problem, 9 times out of 10 I'm the one falling down or I'm the one dying. All in all though, just some basic tips you guys can use to improve your accuracy in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit that like button down below and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, I'm nearing 3,000 subscribers. I've been saying this every video and it truly would mean quite a bit if you haven't subscribed, if you can do so, or if you are subscribed and you can support the video in any way possible, like, comment, share it. I don't know. Uh, anything and all help is greatly appreciated. Thank you guys for watching. It's been Toxic here and I'm out of here guys. See ya. Peace.